All right, this is my second project. This is uh, using this gem of a screen. This is a circular uh, TFT screen. See, 1.28 inches, and it's a 240 by 240 pixel screen. The controller is the GC9A01, and it is controlled with an SPI bus. So the pin or is the reset, chip select, the uh, command, and um, SDA, and this uh, and the uh, clock, ground, and uh, power. So that's connected up over here, um, and I'm using the Arduino Nano ESP232 to run a program that basically draws a line from the center of the screen, uh, which is pixel 120, in the x direction and 120 in the y direction to the edge of the screen and increments the uh, angle by one degree making a circle all the way around and the way the animation works is that the previous line that it draws um, is deleted by drawing it in this in the background color which is black and so then there's a new, dry, a new line drawn at a new angle, and that looks like a animation when it's moving. So let me show you how the uh, programming works with this. All right, so this is a sketch that uh, I made. It uses the SPI header, the Adafruit GFX, and the Adafruit um, GC9A01A header uh, file. Um, These are the pins that I connected, the chip select reset and the uh, DC pin. <clears throat> These are the pin numbers. And basically I have a couple functions that I wrote <clears throat> that return the um, X2 or point X2 uh, if I provide the um, starting point and their radius and the angle in degrees and I use trigonometry functions to calculate the uh, x2 and also the y2. So here we are basically creating the um, screen object using the Adafruit GC90 or the 9A01A library. And This right here, fill circle, is a small little circle at the center of the screen. That circle right in the center. The loop function basically uses uh, variables to store the previous line so that when it changes, the program knows to redraw the previous line in the background color so that it deletes it. And then I set up a loop to go from zero all the way to 360 degrees. And the program then calculates the ending points for each of the angles and then deletes the previous line and redraws a new line in the green color. As that happens, the circle in the center also gets uh, deleted. And so every time I go through a loop, I redraw that center circle. And this right here is the final result. That is pretty cool. Love it. This has been so fun.